school class when we get done with the up, short update here. And I told them I'd tell them this evening they had to come back. So if you're in our, my Sunday school class or the, uh, the auditorium Sunday school class and you're watching uh, on by way of the internet, you need to cut your volume down because you were supposed to come back here to hear it. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, we have right out as far as passing out tracks about just over 4,500, and that's an improvement. The last two or three weeks, it has picked up pretty good. Uh, still, we need to do a lot more, and we're about 14,000 letters and flyers through the mail. So that's a good number, also. Uh, but of course, uh, and we're continuing with that through the year. But we really need to pick up on uh, witnessing to people and and handing out track. Uh, if you witness to somebody, uh, if you don't have a track, you know, you can give us that as a number also. But hand them a track, witness to them, and we need to get the gospel out. Uh, but this morning we were teaching uh, on, uh, and I can't remember his first name now, uh, Latimer and Ridley. And they were two men that joined together in the 1500s uh, to promote the gospel. And we talked about a man named Thomas Bilney that led Latimer to the Lord. And we told him that the way that he did it was ingenious and that what he did was miraculous, but we would tell him tonight what happened. And so what was ingenious about it was that Latimer was a priest. And Bill Nee tells him, he says, I want to confess to you. He set up a meeting so he could confess to him. And this is what he confessed. He said, I confess to you that I found myself a sinner. That I tried everything that the church had to offer, but without peace. And then I was reading in the New Testament, and I came to 1 Timothy 1.15, and it said, This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. And when I read these words, the blinders fell off of my eyes, and I realized that the only way that I was going to be saved was to be trust in Jesus Christ as my Savior. And all that was left for me to do was to cry out to him. And when he did that, Latimer's heart melted and he saw his need as well for Jesus Christ as Savior. Amen. Now you say, well, I thought he was going to show him, tell us about a, a, mir a miracle. It is. Yeah. It's a miracle when all you have to do is tell somebody what Christ did for you and Christ can use that to melt their heart and save them as well. We don't have to be great orators. We don't have to be you known. But this man became known as the spiritual father of the Reformation in England and because he led people to the Lord. And he did it by telling them how God led him to the Lord, how he got saved. And that's all we have to do. And, and pastor's been saying, and I've been saying, you don't have to know a whole lot. You should know a whole lot, but you don't have to. Just tell them what happened to you, and God will use that. Amen. 